Hello, everybody. My name is David Serpa. Welcome to our community. This is the student information session. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about who we are, what we are doing, um, what we plan to do here in January, and how you can be involved. Um, so if you would like to share this out, if this is something that you think that somebody that you know could benefit from, um, today we are looking to upset the setup. We're looking to game the game and we're looking to help some people out with uh, getting started with their careers in real estate. So I'm trying to get this shared here to my personal page so that everybody else can uh, also watch it from my page. Um, excuse me here. And then we'll get started. Okay, here we go. So this information session is going to talk about what com our community is. We're going to talk about creating opportunity in areas where there's not a whole lot of opportunity, in generations where there's not a whole lot of opportunity. We're going to tell you why we are working with high school uh, directly and what that entails, what our coalition of educators is that we are building. We are looking to uh, you know, start this here in real estate but there's no reason why people in um, high school can't leave their high school with uh, a loan license, with a real estate license, with an ability to, uh, to practice in a trade and to start a career. Uh, we're going to discuss why real estate. We're going to go over our broker, broker neutral platform. So it doesn't matter if you're working with Keller Williams, with EXP, with First Team, we want everyone to be able to collaborate together to build this out. In fact, if it's just us doing it, then uh, it's just not going to get big enough fast enough. Uh, we're going to discuss why Generation Z is so important. Um, our 15 week program, our curriculum, what it covers, what it does not cover and all of that good stuff. And then how you can earn commission as you learn. This is an added beneficial uh, benefit to being a part of this program. It is not a requirement. Um, this is something that is going to be more of a focus in the adult program. And then we are going to discuss our scholarship program. I know a lot of great people that could be great realtors out there that uh, don't have a hundred bucks. And we want to make sure that that does not exclude them from being involved in real estate. Um, and then I, you're going to have an opportunity to uh, learn a little bit about me, meet our fantastic team here. And, uh, and then we're going to go over your questions and answer um, anything that you guys might have and then discuss some helpful links and whatnot. Okay, here we go, jumping directly into the presentation. Okay. Oh, not presenter view, in slideshow, play from current slide. So what is our community? First, who is this presentation for? Now we are going to have an adult program that we're gonna be discussing here in a week, but this presentation is predominantly for students, student groups and organizations, parents and parent teacher groups. Uh, this is for teachers and school districts, for city councils, mayors, and uh, we're talk talking to a lot of politicians that have just been newly elected. We're interested in talking to any affiliates that might be interested in helping us broaden this program and what you can contribute to it. Um, and then realtors who wanna teach real estate. Um, not just online, but in the high schools when they reopen, hopefully in the fall of 2021. And we are interested in building a coalition of educators that doesn't just talk about real estate, but talks about all of these other wonderful things as well. Okay, I'm going to uh, tell you guys a little bit about our community. Um, our community is a group of volunteer realtors investing our time educating the next generation of real estate agents. Um, we want to improve livelihoods, our industry, and help to create generational wealth within that demographic. Eight of the 10 of the wealthiest zip codes in America are in California. A lot of them are based around the Bay Area and around San Francisco. Um, economists say that we're getting ready to oversee the largest transfer of wealth in American history, and a great deal of that is going to be in and around real estate. Um, uh, you can look up more information about this in the post boomer boom. Um, they say that $30 trillion in the United States and $100 trillion internationally. Now millennials in Generation Z were already hit hard before the pandemic. Um, opportunities were already scarce for this generation. Many have found themselves unemployed 
underemployed. And uh, we want to, we can continue to talk about the same issues that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was discussing with his Poor People's Campaign back in 1968 before he was assassinated. People don't just want jobs, they want careers. And uh, the career opportunities are severely limited for our young people as they are exiting high school. Now, we're looking to build a coalition of educators. This starts with real estate, but it doesn't stop there. Um, we wanna be able to grant students an opportunity to earn a license, a certificate, or a job offer along with their high school diploma. We should not be prosecuting truancy, but instead be offering value to incentivize students and help teachers. Teachers are already teaching students how to learn. Society needs to teach them what to learn. Um, we're starting with real estate, but there's really no end to the amount of careers that we can work with. Real estate licensing. I was speaking with a lender today who says that he has loan licensing courses offered in every 50 state or in all 50 states. We'd love to get those into the high schools. A cosmetologist license, barber's license, licensed elect electricians, um, plumbers, um, barbers, et cetera, and so forth. And I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Dental assistants, cardiovascular technologists, massage therapists, occupational therapists, medical assistants, or any other certificate or program which takes less than a year to earn. Now, the best way to increase access to affordable health care is to increase uh, the access to more doctors, to create more doctors, and then not to burden those doctors with more debt. Higher education should not be denied to anyone. And this is why we're starting with the high schools. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, intelligence plus character. That is the goal of a true education. Now, why are we starting with real estate? First and foremost, every war throughout history has been fought over real estate. It is the quickest and most reliable path to wealth. I made more in my second month in real estate than I did the year prior getting shot at in Afghanistan. Uh, eight of the 10 of the wealthiest zip codes in America are um, in California, around the Bay Area and around Los Angeles. And a lot of them are concentrated um, in these areas that you see in these green neighborhoods. I've got the San Francisco map up here, the San Jose map, the Los Angeles map. Um, and a lot of this uh, real estate was used to perpetuate systemic race, racism through redlining, sundown towns, HOAs, and racial covenants. Um, the FHA was established to give opportunity to lower income buyers and people of color in 1934 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. For the first 30 years of the program, 98% of the FHA loans were given to white borrowers. Now, the average homeowner in a red line neighborhood has earned 89% less in equity or $524,000 less than their counterpart in a green line neighborhood since 1980. Now, uh, broken down further, um, that medium home value uh, for a hazardous area has stood at $587,000 compared to $1,111,000 in a community uh, with a best rating. Now, banks have been known for using maps, redlining maps as recently as 2015. And it wasn't even until 1961 that NAR finally overturned the policies that prevented black real estate professionals from joining their local boards of realtors. There's been a lot of work that, uh, that NAR has been doing to uh, bring awareness to fair housing, including, including the uh, recent statement issued by um, President, NAR President Vince Malta. So they're doing a lot of great things. If you wanna learn more about that, log on to fair, fair Housing Realtor or NAR Realtor forward slash uh, fair housing. Now, economists predict that we're getting ready to see the largest transfer of wealth in American history, $30 trillion in the next three decades. Um, there is a low barrier of entry that is important. That's why we're talking about it. If the barrier of entry was any higher, I would not be here in front of you. Um, there's, you just have to be 18 years of older. Um, you have to complete 135 hours of real estate education, get your three certificates, and get a background check. Um, now, one of the major reasons why I want to launch this program is I want to give young students an alternative to military service and to college debt, and of course, to in the military industrial complex. I want to improve education and show students they don't have to collect $100,000 in student loan debt. Um, and in, in fact, they can have access to careers, trades, 
entrepreneurship and even start businesses right out of high school. Um, so moving on to the next slide here, um, it's imperative that we start a broker neutral platform to make this happen. Um, I have been talking to Keller Williams team leads. I have been talking to uh, people that work for the local board um, about what we can do to collaborate together um, to build this platform. People with NA Reb and NA Rep, VA Rep, what can we do to create more opportunity in areas that there is not a whole lot of opportunity? We need to make this a collaborative, collaborative effort. Oh, I'm gonna take all these marbles out of my mouth. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, oh, sorry guys. Now, um, so this is a uh, week 12 actually requires that each agent in training interviews with at least three different brokerages and or teams. I'm not looking to start a puppy mill. I don't want to hold any new agents hostage. We are not creating long-term contracts or anything like that. We want to help people attain financial freedom. Slavery, serfdom, sharecropping, and tenants all require that living on someone else's land, working it, and paying for it. Working, pe people work most of their lifetime for another person's benefit. Plain and simple, we want to make sure that less people die tenants. People say, how do we create more Black home ownership? Create more Black wealth, period. Um, how do we create more home ownership amongst the youth? Create more wealth amongst the youth. Now, 28% of white people, 58% of black people, and 54% of Hispanics are tenants. They will spend their entire lifetimes paying off their landlord's investment. So this is not as much a race issue as it is a class issue. Um, I want to help entire groups of people attain financial freedom. Darren Campbell, who is a friend of mine and the president of the Jackie Robinson Foundation, said freedom is financial freedom. If we can all agree that freedom is financial freedom, how do, we, how do we help people attain that financial freedom? Now, why Generation Z? Generation Z has spent their entire childhood with the backdrop of war. They deserve better than massive personal debt, uh, massive uh, national debt, and empty promises. They have been given less opportunity in any time now than since the Great Depression. Wealth tends to reset every in every uh, uh, in every group in every um, in especially amongst lower income earners, um, women, minorities, non college educated people. Now, women have suffered a great deal of losses since the start of uh, COVID nineteen. In fact, a lot of them have left the workforce permanently because it's difficult for them to maintain their children's education and also be involved in a full time career. And so a lot of people are looking for opportunities. That isn't just the youth. That is a little bit of everybody. So um, more millennials and Generation Z are living with their parents now than in any other time since the Great Depression. Uh, less millennials and Generation Z are buying houses. As you can see on this graph, uh, Generation Z isn't even uh, on the chart yet, of course. Uh, now, despite being technologically savvy, willing to work, and willing to wor learn, there are no job opportunities for this group. Uh, people say, oh, the lower, the younger generation, they're lazy. I beg to differ. When I was 18 years old, I was willing to do a lot of things for money. And if you had told me that I could start earning commission right out of high school, uh, things would have been a lot different for me. And I think that they would have been a lot different for a lot of people that are gravitating towards this presentation. Um, in my opinion, they, the youth, can save our industry by improving standards within it. We need to break the already broken class system by empowering the proletariat. Just like I keep telling people, we need to bring real estate out of the wineries and off of the golf courses and onto Main Street and into the high schools. When the youth leaves, everyone will follow. The moment that people start seeing that the youth are successful, they will feel like um, it's possible for them. Now, there's a 15-week program that we have developed. This program includes a lot of the required curriculum that is covered by First Tuesday, but it is a supplemental real estate education platform. And therefore we're offering it for free, but if you want your licensing, we need to get you set up with First Tuesday or a different licensing curriculum. Um, we're working with First Tuesday, that being EXP, um, to offer a discounted rate of 30% off, which is $102.55 to get started. Now, if you can't do that, don't worry about it. We still want you to be involved. You know, audit the first three weeks of the class for free, uh, complete an essay, 
We're gonna have you talk to Rosie Rodriguez, our, our scholarship director, and we're gonna get you set up. We wanna make sure that we are eliminating the barrier of entry for people. And in addition, we're already talking to some high schools, some, uh, some school districts, and they said that if we can give them the information that they need, they may even be able to cover the cost for their students, cover the curriculum for their students, and then help their students get licensed. So there's a lot of really good things happening, and we're really just scratching the surface here with this um, presentation, which I'm mumbling, bumbling through a little bit. Um, so also, uh, this gives people an opportunity to uh, earn as they learn. This isn't the focus of this program, but it is an option. Uh, it costs money to get started in real estate. And what we want to do is we want to give people an opportunity to make money while they're pursuing their career legally by a real estate uh, by acting as a real estate finder. Now, what this does is it gives them the opportunity to find people who need to buy and sell real estate and then legally be paid a commission. And we break that down in the curriculum, which you could find on educateempowerexplore.com on our website. And there is not just the student course, which is going to run Monday through Friday after school as sort of a real estate club here in the beginning from four to five o'clock. But there's also going to be an adult course, which is going to start a week later and is going to be predominantly for the people who have found themselves unemployed, um, underemployed, or uh, maybe their businesses have recently gone under. Um, and so we want to help people get back to work. To cover a little bit more about this program, this, this is, gives people that are opportunity to earn commission as they learn. Now, in real estate, it's important that you understand that real estate is uh, in commission. It's not a guarantee. You have to work for commission. Um, we want to decrease the period that you have to wait for a paycheck. Now, unemployment has affected our area, California, greatly. And there's going to be a lot of people that are looking for work. And a lot of these industries that have been hit the hardest are in uh, service-related careers. You can see um, almost 8 million jobs have been lost in leisure and hospitality. Um, two and a half million jobs have been lost in health and education. Uh, two million jobs have been lost in uh, professional businesses and services. The number one employer in the state of California, the small business owner um, has suffered great losses, which we're gonna discuss later. Uh, in retail, um, retail is disappearing rapidly, just as Andrew Yang talked about in his book, The War on Normal People. Um, that's a, a career field that's disappearing. And so what we wanna do is we wanna create opportunities for people that are in uh, lower, typically lower income earners. So. And most importantly, through COVID-19, real estate agents have been declared as essential workers. Recessions and depressions tend to resell, reset the wealth of lower income earners. 50% of black wealth was lost during the last uh, recession. Uh, most of the jobs that are being hit the hardest are in service-related careers. Uh, Service-minded people transition beautifully into real estate. I often will meet a great waiter or I will be checked out by somebody uh, who works in sales and I'll tell them, you would be an absolute fantastic real estate agent. And what's happening is a lot of these people are going to be needing to shift into new careers. Uh, now, a 25% commission is nothing to scoff at in real estate. Now, this is something that we can actually pay to people once they are enrolled in First Tuesday, pursuing their real estate licenses. I break down exactly how to do that, the forms that need uh, to be used. And uh, in the blog that's going to be released on LCA and on our website at educateempowerexplore.com. Now that average green neighborhood, uh, the sales price is $1,111,000. Now the average commission is 2.5%, which means that the total commission is $27,775. Now the, at an 80% commission, the total commission would be $22,220 times 0.25, which is 25%, which is what could be paid to a finder. That average commission would be $5,555 in one of those desirable neighborhoods. Now, the number one employer in the state of California, like I said, is a small business owner, and they have suffered massive losses. You see uh, Cal Exit right now. A lot of people are leaving the state permanently for greener pastures. In Sacramento, they have lost 33% of their small businesses permanently. Oakland has lost 32% of their small, biz small businesses. San Jose has lost 35%. Bakersfield, 31%, and San Diego, 28%. But one of the biggest hit areas in the entire country and in the state is San Francisco. Their small businesses uh, have been permanently, 54% of their small businesses have been permanently destroyed, and 60% of the restaurants have been forced to close permanently 
in that city. This is 370 restaurants in San Francisco alone. So you could see that there's gonna be a lot of people out of work and looking for opportunity. Now our scholarship, uh, our scholarship program is something that we're working with through CalPACES. Now, no money changes hands between you and our community. That's important for you to understand. What happens is if you are interested in sponsoring, let's say 10 kids, you contact CalPACES directly. Their information is below. Uh, they answer the phone when it rings. It is 951-781-7300. This is a tax deductible donation for you because it is an educate, it is education related. Um, and you give them your discount code, which is 6106. And each program is $102.55. And it will also automatically set it up so that that program is ready for a student that needs it. And it is assigned to our community so that Rosie Rodriguez can assign it to a student when they uh, get ready to start pursuing their real estate license. So uh, this is a free supplemental real estate education service. If you are already signed up, if you are already licensed, that's okay, you can jump in. Uh, if you want to see if you like it for three weeks, jump in. Um, this is not something that we're charging anybody for. Like I said, the cost comes in to once you want to start getting those three certificates and pursuing your license. And there are a lot of different organizations and groups that we are working towards to pursue scholarship opportunities, whether it is the school covering the cost, the school district, you know, your parents, of course, or uh, a lot of investors and real estate agents that we work with that say, hey, train my real estate agents, I'll pay for them to get licensed. Um, so uh, a lot of different ways to work it out. Um, and we're trying to figure out the best way everywhere. Um, I will be your primary instructor for this. We will be discussing um, Socratic, we'll have in Socratic discussions every Friday. I wanna teach everyone to think about their businesses objectively. Uh, we will be having um, homework, <laughs> sorry to say so, but sadly that's true. Um, and then we will be discussing the required curriculum on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then every Monday, we're going to be talking about everything that everyone said they missed, that they wish that they knew when they got started in real estate. Um, my name is David Serpa. I'm the president and CEO of our community. I'm a combat veteran, an activist, a realtor, and an author. Um, I wrote a couple of books. Uh, the, the Machine Gunner's Guide to Real Estate, Accuracy by Volume, um, All the World's a Stage, Unmasking Asperger's Syndrome, and Zen Business, an Eastern Approach to the Western Business Climate. Uh, you can call me at 951-691-7798. I am on the autism spectrum. I am nervous right now. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but uh, um, I don't like to answer the phone when it rings unless it's a scheduled phone call. If it's a scheduled phone call, I'm absolutely going to be on it. Now, uh, neurotypical people miss their appointments like crazy here, which is one of the reasons why we're doing this point this year, so we can broadcast this out, get all that information out there. But uh, I need an appointment. I can't, I can't just answer random phone calls. It drives me nuts. So feel free to reach out to me at educateempowerexplore at gmail.com. Uh, check out our website, educateempowerexplore.com. Our Facebook page, Educate Empower Explore California. Um, or you could read my blog, Lab Code Agents forward slash blog, forward slash author, forward slash David Serpa. I have a new blog, which should be being released today, which outlines exactly how to uh, use this program, how you can bring it to your state and uh, how you can bring it to your area. And you don't need to work with us. You don't have to work with us. I would be happy for you to um, launch this program without us. We can't do it alone. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. So if you want to jump in, feel free. At this point, I want to introduce you to my board of directors. Um, our community is, uh, our hub here is in French Valley uh, here in Southern California. We've actually got a really big announcement here later about uh, launching our own office, which I'm really excited about. But uh, my name is David Serp. I'm the founder. Um, I will be introducing you next to Ancoma Hose, who is the vice president and the director of outreach for uh, our Southern California student program. Next, you'll meet Jeff Phillips, who is the Director of Outreach in Northern California for the student program. Uh, these are, you know, every, I love all of these people. This is why I asked them to be involved. These are all really excellent, excellent human beings. Amy Serpa, my sister uh, and fellow combat veteran, Director of Outreach for the adult program. She's really uh, heading that up for the state of California. Christian Tikis is also running outreach, but he is our broker and CFO for our community. Um, Rosie Rodriguez is the scholarship director and uh, all of these people are our, our partners here. Janice Lovendahl is uh, director of nonprofit uh, for our, 
uh, our nonprofit outreach. Um, these are for like NAREB, NAREP, um, VA rep. We want to build great relationships. And then Zachary Bach is helping us to build some excellent systems with some great partnerships so that we can help train uh, the next generation of real estate agents. At this point, I'm going to introduce you to uh, our vice president, Nkoma House. Nkoma, welcome, my friend. You, thank you. Thank you. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Um, and I just want to say, you know, I just want to say thank you to David Serpa for the energy and the time that he's put into this program. Um, it's just, it's absolutely tremendous. And from seeing it from my side, what I really believe that it's going to do for um, college seniors is going to be tremendous as well. Um, as David said, I'm, I'm a military veteran. I was with the Marine Corps for 15 years prior to jumping into real estate and really chose real estate to, you know, chart my own path and see what it can do, what it can help me do in the community that I live in. Um, and with this program, it was beautifully explained. So I won't go over the entire program um, over again, but I just really wanna focus on what it's gonna do for high school seniors. And just to touch on some of the points that David had mentioned, it's another option. You know, uh, we have a bunch of veterans in this group. I went into the Marine Corps straight out of high school, pretty much. Um, I have adult age children that are in college. And so if you look at it, you know, military service is an option. Uh, going to college without money is basically jumping into debt while you're trying to get an education um, or finding some other way to fund it or just jump it into some of these jobs, like say the minimum wage jobs, but what kind of path does that um, lead ahead? So you take real estate and jumping into this with real estate. And I kind of look at it as a two pronged effect in that it's also, it's not just an opportunity to get a real estate license and start working in real estate. Um, I believe it's actually crucial education for high school seniors, you know, say if they start on this path and, if they do or they don't get into real estate, buying a home is, is a goal that pretty much everybody has. Overwhelmingly, people will have. It's gonna be one of the largest purchases that a person can make. And educating high school seniors about real estate in turn is also gonna educate them about finances. Uh, what does it even mean to have, um, to make a mortgage payment or to have a home loan? There's gonna be a tremendous amount of education in this that regardless of if they get a license or not, is, is gonna help across the board. So, you know, that was one of the biggest things that I wanted to touch on, because um, I'm really gonna be focusing on trying to work with high schools, get them involved, so we can present this and get this in front of students so that they have those other options. So. Excellent. Um, that's all I had to touch on. And like I said, like I said before, David, thank you for the work that you've really put into this. And each time that I get to participate in one of these Zoom calls, um, seeing the passion behind the, the outline and the structure and, and the details that you've really put into this. I so, really appreciate that, Nkoma. My, my own kids, actually. We've got a 19-year-old that is going to be getting involved in the program. Um, and actually, my son who served four years in the Marine Corps, he got out, he's actually getting his license to participate in this program as well. So. That's beautiful. I absolutely. love you, my brother. We, I, I, we got a chance to spend the day together yesterday, um, working with some great things in our community uh, for this Christmas to make sure that you know everybody has a Christmas. Um, this is something that our community is really a lifestyle and it's something that we're really passionate about. Um, so I thank you very much for the collaboration, uh, for bringing in those, uh, those really valid points. I felt like I had marbles in my mouth the whole time. I was nervous. So I'm glad that you came in and, uh, and, and brought it down uh, to earth a little bit. Um, so at this point, I'm going to bring on uh, Jeff Phillips, who is our uh, Director of Outreach for Northern California uh, for the student program. Um, Jeff, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting quite a while ago. I flew up to Northern California to, um, to uh, spend the day with him recently. And uh, he's a great human being um, and does a lot for his community up there in Northern California and is going to continue to run point as the lead for the student program up there in, uh, in NorCal. So, uh, Jeff, I'm going to hand you uh, the microphone, my friend.
Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Can you hear me? I can. You're, uh, I can hear you just fine. All right, perfect. So thank you, everybody, for coming. David, just like Ancoma said, thank you so much for everything that you have put into this. Um, originally, I met David, and I was kind of looking for a mentor. I was looking for someone to help me with a direction in real estate. I always felt that I had a bigger purpose. I had a bigger dream. I just needed someone to help me through that. And David has definitely been that. So my name is Jeff Phillips. I'm out here in the Bay Area in Antioch. Um, I got recently um, uh, my real estate license two years ago, but my background is I'm from a single mother household. My pops was locked up pretty much all my life. Um, I worked through that, graduated high school, went off to DVC, which is a community college out here to play football. That was my identity. That was everything to me. I was a football player. You couldn't tell me anything else. Well, due to an injury, I had to reinvent myself. At that point, I always knew community was a big part of me, um, but I always knew that I wanted something bigger for my community. So I became the Pan-African Union president. I helped start the Emoja program um, to help um, first year generation um, African-Americans and just in general student body to work their way through college. I'm a part of a, a organization called Student African-American Brotherhood that works from um, middle school all the way up into college. So community organization, I say it found me. Um, it was something that I didn't expect to be in. I always thought NFL, 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 but I had to reinvent myself. When I transferred out to Howard University, um, I used to wake up at 3.30 in the morning. I would go, I would put solar panels on top of houses, on top of schools work from four to 8.30, just in time to get back to class at nine o'clock, go from nine to three, then go ahead from three, go ahead, study, do my homework, go to sleep, wake up, do it all over again. So when I finally got out of school, I actually didn't graduate. And that's when I always wanted to be a, um, a sports agent. And my backbone was to change the dynamics of African-American athletes going broke. Well, when I got out of school and I realized that wasn't going to be something I was going to be able to do, a friend of mine was in real estate and said, why don't you go ahead and look into real estate? It can be something where you can not only take the dynamics of changing African-American athletes going broke by still investing and teaching them how to invest in real estate, but you can also expand it into the community as well. So when I, I seen that, I said, okay, the vision is bigger there. I really, I really appreciate what real estate can do. And that's what I see with our community. Um, a lot of us agents will say, you know, I wish I would have known this when I was younger. I wish I would have known it when I was younger. And this is our opportunity to teach the next generation while they're younger. And it can be someone that, you know, some people say college isn't for me. Okay, well, let's get you a career path that can still provide you and your family. And some people may say, you know, college is still for me. College would have probably still been for me. But what benefit would I have had if I could have went to school, got home, got on the phone, got taught how to speak to sellers, how to speak to the buyers and find finders fee instead of waking up at 3.30, getting there, going to work, coming back, being tired. It could have changed a lot of different dynamics. I probably could have had some more money to put towards not having as much student loans, but that's the benefit of what our community is going to bring is that like Ancoma said, what better industry can teach the youth everything that we talk about that schools are not teaching them? Credit, tax, financial literacy, whether you want to go into it or not, you're going to have to know what a W-2 is. You're going to speak about what lenders need. You're going to know about your taxes. You're going to know about credit scores, how to raise your credit, all those things that this program can bring to the youth. Um, it's beautiful. And that's why myself, like David uh, talked about, a lot of people are giving up on our youth, speaking ill over their life. I'm not one. I'm always going to find hope in the youth. I'm always going to speak um, life into the youth. It's the power of the tongue. So you got to speak life into these, this next generation. We, we can't just tell them, you know, you're lazy. You don't want to do anything. Why don't we give them an opportunity to show what they can and what they what they want to do out of their life. And that's why I'm so thankful for our community and 
everybody that is a part of it. Thank you, David. I appreciate you, brother. Absolutely, my brother. Well, well said, uh, Jeff. Um, we uh, that was one of the big things that we uh, that we hit it off about is uh, you know it really is it's a, it's a class thing. It's an opportunity thing, and the, you know I'm going to bring Amy on here to also talk about what that is and what that means because uh, Amy and I were uh, were raised by uh, a single mother as well. And so Amy, I'm gonna pin you to the top here and I'm gonna unmute you. Um, and uh, let's see here. And David, can I add one more thing? Yeah, please do. What Jeff was saying. Um, for instance, I have a daughter in college right now and she's able to go to school because I'm a veteran. And because of my service, I have that benefit to pass along to my children. But just so that we're clear as well, um, what we're saying is, for high school students to possibly avoid debt. And just like Jeff was saying, if a kid still wanted to go to college, they've gone through this program, they graduate, they have their real estate license. With the kind of commissions that we get in real estate, you know, a high school student could work real estate for their first year and try to earn money for college. Correct. Or go to college and still work real estate. So I just want to, you know, put that out there as well. This it, is, this is an alternative to it's Veterans Day. A lot of us are veterans, or a lot of us are college dropouts, and all these things. And they, you know, listen, I I'm a three time yeah. very proud junior college dropout. I wasn't really seeing the value in it. And so the thing is, is you know, um, it's not all brains are for college, but there are some that absolutely need it. What we're looking to do is we're looking to provide the value in high school so that people can leave high school with not just a job, not a side hustle, not be a part of a gig economy, but a real career if they choose to, um, to um, capitalize on it. And so there's a, there's a lot of opportunity out there. And right now, those oppor that opportunity is being found on golf courses and in wineries, and it's not being found in the high schools and in the career centers. So um, great point in coma. I appreciate it. I'm excited about working with uh, with your daughter and your son, who is a uh, you know a veteran himself. Happy Veterans Day to him, and uh, yes. Happy Veterans Day now to uh, to Amy Serpa, um, my sister. Uh, she is uh, someone that I would like you all to to meet. She is the director of outreach for the adult program. Now, a lot of people, their heart lies in um, helping the children, and a lot of people are not thinking about their parents. They're not thinking about their mom or their dad. Um, Amy and I were raised by my mom and uh, I love my mom. She's working with us today. She just passed her third test and uh, got her live scan done yesterday. So I'm very proud of her, but I say my life would have been different if uh, my mom would have met someone like me 28 years ago. Um, Amy's life would have been different. And so we need to help people realize what is possible and um, Amy's heart lies uh, out there for you know single moms uh, transitioning military. Amy is a combat veteran. She went to Iraq. Um, at this point, I would like to introduce you to uh, my sister, the director of outreach uh, for the adult program. Amy, take it away. Thank you so much, my brother. Um, it's an honor to be here today and amongst so many big brained individuals. Um, this is an incredible group of people. Um, you guys keep me motivated and I'm, I'm very excited to be here today. What we are launching is absolutely astronomical. Um, this is such an incredible opportunity and there's so much great information um, in, this, in this slideshow here. I encourage everybody to go back and, and read the information provided. Um, but that being said, you know, David and I did grow up in a single mother household and uh, we were ho homeless during our um, high school period there for uh, some time and uh, bounced all over California. And so being able to provide this opportunity um, for these young entrepreneurs and um, this generation, generation Z that has truly been underprivileged and left uh, with very minimal opportunity. Um, it's our job as leaders in this community and as parents and uh, mentors here to step up and provide and pathfind the way into opportunities for success. And so what I really wanna do is empower our youth um, to really help lead the way here um, into a pivotal time where, you know, in the recession, there was never, um, there was more entrepreneurs that were made out of the recession than any other time period in history. And so we're really on the forefront there uh, with this coming out of COVID. 
And um, so there's been a lot of misplaced individuals and a lot of seniors, even from this last year that are misplaced and wondering, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna end up going to college and end up in a massive amount of debt? Um, are they going to go into military service and um, you know, potentially sign away four to six years or longer um, in service and at a time of war still after 19 years? And so our youth here has been raised with war as a backdrop for the last 19 years. And, um, you know, being a combat veteran, I understand the effects um, that that takes on you and your family. And so what I want to do here is help to provide another avenue um, into success uh, where we are able to not only provide wealth for yourself, but generational wealth. And uh, truly what needs to happen is a redistribution of wealth. And so if we can empower our youth to really capitalize on, on the historical moment that we have here and being able to educate and empower our youth um, into making commission and earning as they learn, which is just so huge. Um, you know, this also branches out into our adult program, which we'll be covering next week. Um, but, you know, as a single mother, you know, needing that flexibility in real estate um, was huge for me. You know, my kids have gone with me to open houses and uh, showings and things like that. And, um, you know, real estate has been an incredible opportunity for me to be able to be um, the provider I need to be able to be for my family. And so um, I'm very excited to see this program launch out. And we are at a historical time period where um, there's so much power there within our youth that they just need some mentorship and some direction, um, you know, outside of just college and, and military, where they're able to actually not just serve in the military, but what if they could stay home and serve their community. And so for me and myself and for, you know, the veterans here, nothing has changed but the uniform. And so who we are is we are service-minded people. We're heart-centered heart individuals and we care about our community. And so if we can help to create, um, you know, empowerment through wealth and uh, opportunities through education and, uh, you know, have these seniors walking out of high school with not only a diploma, but a license to practice real estate in a career would just be absolutely, absolutely life-changing for a lot of people. So I'm excited to be a part of this. Thank you. Absolutely. Amy, I appreciate you, uh, you jumping on today. Um, I, uh, we, we, we really, we talk a lot about redistribution of wealth, but redistribution of opportunity, redistribution of opportunity, get after it, um, get your hands on some of the money that has been historically denied to uh, an entire group of people. And so uh, people say to me sometimes when I'm talking to them, they say, oh, that's great. You want to help people to teach real estate in their, or, uh, sell real estate in their own communities. And I say, no, I want to teach people how to sell real estate in your community. And so um, it's not just enough to just create that, uh, that local professional, but I want to teach people how to really create businesses and to be entrepreneurs and then to uh, make wealth um, in that high dollar price point. Um, so I'm really proud to be on this journey with you. It's been a long road, my sister. So um, I'm going to bring the next person on to our presentation, which is a... Uh, uh, Christian Tikis. Christian Tikis is a big hearted, big brained individual, which is really all I roll with is big hearted, big brained people. Um, so uh, he's a he's a great guy. He's a community leader, community organizer out here in the Temecula Valley, does a lot of great work in Hemet um, and then here in uh, Winchester. And uh, so um, I'm very proud to be on this journey with him. He is our broker of record and I'm talking him into becoming our CFO for our community. And uh, so um, he's just a, got a really great big heart and a big brain. And I'm uh, going to cut the mic for me and hand it over to him now. Christian, welcome. Good morning. Thank you for um, this amazing presentation, David. And, and just, of course, being also the, the brain behind it all as well. Uh, so I want to give a lot of um, cred to you because uh, this has kind of uh, been birthed out of a, a lot of just community, uh, just conversations right and and how we can impact the world so uh just a little background on me uh, i'm a licensed broker i've been licensed for 17 years um and broker for i think the last 11 years or so been in the business for 20 plus years of real estate and uh just inspired about uh what real estate really does for people's families because i am kind of a second generation uh real estate uh uh, uh, per salesperson and, and, and professional. And uh, just seeing that, that that can provide a livelihood is what it helped me just 
take this career path. And um, so I see this as the opportunity, like many other people. I mean, I'm a son of, of immigrants that came to Los Angeles back, you know, about 40 plus years. And, uh, and really just a product of, of, of the opportunities uh, that were pointed and, and handed out to, to uh, uh, my family and, and things like that. So uh, I feel that this is kind of a crucial program because there is a, a, lock, a lack of direction for a lot of our youth and a lot of people uh, right now. And really what it, it's in helping empower us just to help empower the next generation. So uh, some of the things that I mean, even just thinking about like, you know, take, let's take poverty, for example, right? You know, poverty, everybody thinks that poverty is a lack of money, lack of food, lack of opportunities, all that. And, and really poverty, if those things are just a byproduct of what poverty is. And in reality, poverty is, um, is really foundationally just a lack of healthy relationships, a lack of, of, of people really guiding others and, and helping mentor others. And, and that's how I see really our community uh, stepping up and really being a, a center to help direct the next generation, help direct people that are looking for opportunities and, and really handing them the tools uh, to go and, 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 and make a, a better life for themselves. So I'm excited about what really this whole thing uh, entails and, and, and just you know seeing this uh, will be just an amazing thing for it to take off, I think, uh, uh, not only here, but just in every opportunity, every, every community that needs an uh, um, opportunity like that for their youth. Um, some of the things that uh, I'm really uh, fired up about is I've been meeting with a lot of councilmen and, and, and newly elected council people uh, and really just talking to them about this uh, as an opportunity, especially for those that are trying to bring uh, trades back to to the high school age and and, and things like that. So uh, this falls right in line with with bringing those opportunities back to uh, uh, you know people that don't necessarily want to go to college and get in debt and and those sort of things. So uh, I feel that that reaching out, you know, I'm kind of seeing people from all different um, classes. Whether you're dealing with people that are in the poverty level or people that are just middle class that don't have the direction, I think. This is a, a perfect uh, uh, just platform for everyone to come together and, and really just uh, change the community and, and really just be impactful. Um, so I applaud the, the, of course, the idea behind all this, but, but just the collaboration of getting all the different people from different backgrounds to come in with the same cause in mind. I think it's gonna, it's gonna catapult this thing and help elevate people above uh, the opportunities that we have and, and giving them obviously just a, a, a better way of living, uh, a better outlook to that life. I really see that this will also just give people that hope, you know, knowing that not only they're not relying on, 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 on maybe a government program or things like that, but also themselves and the skills that, that, that are being developed through this whole thing. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to work on personally is, is dealing with the school district so they can actually pay for this program, uh, specifically for their, for their students. Uh, they have the funding for it. They have, um, it's just a matter of making sure that they get the proper uh, credit for, for, their, for their graduation and, and applying it towards it. And since we're working with First Tuesday, which is an accredited uh, school, you know, even more so that it should be, money should never be an issue. And that's what I always tell people when they see money as an obstacle, that it should never be uh, an issue. There's always ways around it. There's always ways to uh, get through it. Um, so uh, I'm really happy uh, for what, um, just linking arms with, uh, with people like Ancoma, with Rosie, with Janice. I mean, they're, they're all going to be, um, they're all, their gifts and talents are going to help project this and, and cover a lot of ground for the people that need um, you know the opportunities to be just handed to them and shown to them so uh, i'm excited i'm looking forward to uh day one of class and, and just really you know um getting to know a lot of the the, the students and a lot of the people that are going to be um jumping on board with this with this uh amazing uh, um freight train uh, of opportunity for people absolutely christian i appreciate your voice um i appreciate that uh you know every time that you tell me Hey, listen, you might be hearing from this school district or, hey, you might be hearing from this, you know, council member. I get a I get an email that day. And so it's been um, really great. The new information that you've been bringing to the table 
uh, the fact that you said, hey, we might be able to figure out a way that the school districts can pay for this because of course we're all, we're all volunteering our time. Yep. We're all investing our, our energy in the next generation. But you said that there might be a way to figure this out. I talked to Rosie a couple of days ago and she goes, hey David, this scholarship program, it might be easier than what you're thinking. And so um, it's only by ha creating access to big, huge brains like I have all around me that we level this program up. It can't be the David Serpa show. Otherwise it's going to be way too small. You saw the way that I stumbled through the first part of this presentation. I need you guys. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so Rosie Rodriguez, the director of scholarship, um, I'm gonna bring you um, to uh, the broadcast at this point and um, have you tell everybody what you told me about the way that this scholarship program could work and also um, your own experience with uh, scholarships. <clears throat> Welcome, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. And, and um, can you guys all hear me? Yes? We can hear you. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, so as we were talking, you know, David and I were talking about this project. I know he's been working on it for, you know, for many, many months now, putting in a whole lot of time and effort. And he's very passionate about everything that's being created, as is everybody else uh, on this on this panel uh, for all of our background and our reasons. And, and I think it's wonderful that everybody's giving back. One story that I shared with David was um, how uh, when I was in high school, uh, there was a, a, an organization, First Chance Foundation. They were looking for people that maybe didn't have the straight A's, but could demonstrate via an essay, you know, why they deserved uh, a, a first chance at, at, um, at really kind of moving into college. And they gave me a, a scholarship. I don't remember the amount. I don't, it doesn't matter. The, the thing is that there was some, some recognition, you know, from someone that, you know, overcame some obstacles and was able to, um, and wanted to, you know, better their, their selves and their lives. So I was, uh, very encouraged and have always been encouraged to, to um, reach out to this, this group. And so right now I'm gonna talk to the kids out there, they're watching this that might, or the parents of the kids, you know, we're talking about all the, the, the great reasons why, you know, this program is going to help, you know, change the wealth distribution and all those things. But I wanna just kind of speak in plain English. Guys, you know, kids, uh, parents of kids, not everybody's going to have a love and a passion for um, biology, you know, or, or, uh, you know, uh, health or whatnot. Some people want to get out there and they want to work. They're going to hustle. They're hungry. You know, they're hungry. You guys are hungry. You guys want to get a job, but that's something that's going to actually change, you know, what the family structure looks like. You want to be able to get, you know, get your mom from working two jobs to, you know, just one job, or maybe you, you know, you'd like to be able to have a car so you can get from point A to point B. And so what I love about this program is that it's not saying to the kids out there, um, no, you know, don't, you know, stop going to school and get your real estate license. It's saying, you know, this is going to give you the money to pay for college. This is going to give you another option, another flexible structure where you can continue to pursue your passions. And you can also provide for the family, provide for yourself, you know, see there's a better way. So I just want to talk to you guys out there. Look, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to actually create income for you, for your family and all that good stuff. And so don't be scared of, well, can I afford it? Can I, do I have $102, you know, to put together, um, you know, the tuition? That is not an obstacle with the people that are in this group, you know, with, you know, the things that I've done with the people that we, you know, we're connected with, we're going to help find you the scholarship money to get you in there. That's a hundred percent guaranteed. And I saw this movie and it reminds me of what we're doing today, but just this weekend, Stand and Deliver, remember that? And so one of the things that stands out to me was Edward almost, Edward James almost said, you know, the thing that you need, it's called ganas. So I'm speaking to people who speak Spanish. Ganas is like, you got to have hunger. You got to have that desire. So if I see someone out there who's excited, who's passionate, you know, they're like, I'm going to make it happen. That ignites me. That person does more for me than, you know, someone who comes in telling me they have a degree and they want to, you know, they kind of like to see what I have to offer. So mm -hmm. everybody on this call, you know, they're excited about helping. I'm excited about helping. You guys just need to do the one thing is you got to take action. You got to reach out and you know, you got to get moving. So that's, that's my contribution. The scholarship part, we can elaborate on different ways. At the end of the day, you guys just worry about getting here, showing up and doing the work. What a beautifully said, my friend. Um, that's absolutely it. 
We don't want to, you know, the person's like, hey, listen, I have a degree and, you know, some worthless thing and I can, what can you do for me? Like, like I'm a hustler, Amy's a hustler, Jeff is a hustler. There's so much power in this room. Rosie, you're uh, the sponsor of my sponsor and the, the, you inspire me constantly on what you've been able to accomplish with your personal business and your personal life. And so, you know, if this is a great opportunity for people to not just level up their peer group, but bring your peer group with you. We're not telling you to, to, to leave, the, leave your friends behind. We're saying, bring them with you. And so uh, this is a, a creating of generational wealth. So Rosie, thank you. Yeah, and you know, the last thing I wanna add, David and, and Christian, since you guys are on the call, we're talking about like reaching out, you know, creating solutions, creating ways for things to happen. So I just wanna give you guys the news to check your inbox because the thing that we're working on, the thing about like reaching out and making things happen, it's in your inbox. So you guys can <laughs> do with that what you like, so. <laughs> All right, well, well, fantastic. That's, a, oh, that's great news. Um, oh, let's see, let's bring this back a little bit. Um, so uh, great news. We, uh, we've been working on something for a long time here uh, to bring um, a hub to uh, French Valley. And uh, we got offered the, the final contract yesterday and uh, Rosie and I both signed. And so we'll, we'll, we'll send out a formal announcement later, but that's it. You, I found out live here. Um, it's a big day, 11, 11, um, lots of big things are happening. You could feel it. The energy is out there. Um, this webinar is just to let you know that it's not just me out here by myself trying to do crazy things. It's me and this whole group of people, um, out here trying to do crazy things. So thank you, Rosie. I love you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. I'm going to jump off, but love you. Can't wait to work with you. I'm excited about what we're doing. Thank you, David, for leading this ship. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to add Janice Lovendahl at this point to the, uh, to the, um, oh, let's see. Jeez. Hi, Janice, down there at the, we're, we're going to bring you up to, here to the top. We're going to send it back. And uh, so Janice has a, another big heart, big brain, wonderful human being. And uh, she is a mentor with EXP, but uh, she's a mentor in the community as well. Uh, a good friend of mine. Um, Janice, um, would you like to tell everybody about the kind of organizations that we would love to bring our community to? Oh my gosh. You know, all I can say right now, guys, is um, wow. Wow. If you guys are out there right now and you're not saying wow and having your mouth wide open saying, oh my goodness, how do I get my child involved? I don't know what else we can say today. But Thank you so much, David, for, for including me in this. And thank you so much. We have such a wonderful staff. Thank you guys all for being here today. And I want to say is that I've been in the business, of course, just a little bit about me, been in the business for over 25 years. So, of course, yeah, I've been out there and I, you know, started when I was, you know, elementary. So, um, but nonetheless, I want, this is just such a great opportunity for all and, and especially for our youth in which, you know, my heart is big in that arena and my heart is big in just serving the community itself. I'm involved with a couple of, you know, quite a few um, uh, nonprofit organizations. Um, you know, some is involved with real estate um, and some are not, you know, um, the Rose House uh, we dealt with, I was president of one of those organizations where we dealt with um, our foster children and foster children that was being raised by their grandparents. And that's a whole nother niche right there. Mm -hmm. um, I believe uh, we've had foster children in our home for over 20 something years. We have always had foster children and um, I've had foster children in my home. And my biggest dream was always just to bring them in and just to show them something different than show the opportunity that is out there for you because sometimes we get in a bubble, but you need to kind of stretch outside of that box and reach outside of that box and see something very big and something that's bigger than yourself that you can actually get involved in. Um, National Association of Real Estate Brokers, National Association of um, uh, our 
National Association of Hispanic Professionals, um, our uh, associations with our Asian community as well, um, Women's Council of Realtors. I've been members and on the boards for all of those organizations in which I think that we need to bring them all on board as far as education is concerned and real estate is concerned. We have such an opportunity right now for our youth. One is we have an opportunity to show them how to make money. We have opportunity on showing how them how to manage their money. And the other thing is not just only thinking about themselves, but to share this information with others. That's what we're all about. This whole organization, we're all kind of built on basically love. Mm. That's what this is. We're sharing information and educating people to succeed in life, give them a fresh start, give them a new start. And I just so, um, I'm so appreciative of you, David, for, for putting this together. You were able to pull all this together and make something just fabulous. And I'm so excited to be a part of this. So again, I hope that I can bring as much value and, and be out there to, to help and support you as much as I possibly can, because I think this is just an amazing program. And we you've designed it to where you've made it simple and easy. What's the saying? Keep it simple. And that's just what we have done here. Thank you so much, David. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you so, Janice, so much, Janice. Um, this is, uh, this is really great. I was uh, feeling really terrible for all of the marbles in my mouth here at the beginning. And I was so nervous because I've been working on this for a long time. And uh, this is something that I'm very, very passionate about. Now, normally a thespian like myself, I could get up on stage, you know, no nerves whatsoever and be just fine. But um, I'm just deeply, deeply, deeply passionate about uh, this program. And so it's, uh, it's hard not to be nervous sometimes, but you guys have done a beautiful job. I'm really excited to uh, wrap up here with uh, my friend, Zach. If he is, Zach, are you on here, handsome? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, you got to turn on your camera. All right, there yeah. we go. All right, let me pin you to the top. You had me so confused. I was like, everything's gone so well. And now Zach's, uh, Zach's gone. Okay, so Zach is uh, a really great friend of mine. Uh, Eagle Scout, Boy Scout director, just a uh, beautiful human being and a good guy. Um, and he's been my best friend for what, geez, 25, 26, 27 years, something like that. We grew up together, uh, also a veteran. And uh, so happy Veterans Day to you, Zach. We're working on building a, uh, a really fantastic program, working on getting the systems dialed so that we can get affiliates involved with us uh, so that we can uh, really teach these students how these agents in training how to start making commission. So Zach Bach, I'm going to send it to you to tell everybody a little bit about who you are and what you're working on. Thanks, David. So happy Veterans Day, veterans out there. And so David and I for a long time now, since I, I got started in real estate just about four years ago, I know that because I need to do my continuing education courses. And the last four years have been a bit of a whirlwind. The one thing that David and I have consistently talked about over the last four years is setting up some systems to make it a little bit easier for agents to achieve success. Real estate is not difficult. Real estate is all about consistency. It's all about finding your niche and running with it. And one of the biggest things that I'm going to focus on is helping, helping our students figure out what is their niche? What do they want to focus on? How can we develop a plan to make them successful. And at the end of the day, you know, I can't, uh, I can't force anybody to follow their plan. All I can do is, is give them the map and say, if you follow this map, you'll most likely achieve success as long as you work for it and you're consistent. And so David and I have been talking to some various uh, companies and programs out there to help these agents. Um, you know, some of these, these programs are prohibitively expensive for new agents. If you go to somebody and you say, hey, you need to spend $2,000 a month on this. You need to spend $1,000 a month on this. And you need to go and walk your neighborhood three days a week and hand out flyers. Oh, and you need to make phone calls every day. They're going to go, oh my gosh, I don't have $5,000 a month. I don't have this. But with the power of a group, we can go to these companies and say, hey, listen, uh, we'd like to utilize your program. And so we're working with some great companies right now to get these programs at a discounted cost, use a group, use a group um, you know, a group methodology of just getting, uh, getting access to all these tools. So that's all that I got. Zach, I appreciate your help, my friend. 
Um, not only are we working with these companies to get access to these programs at a discounted uh, rate, we're looking to get them at a free rate. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a lot of these companies that we've, or that I'm talking to, they say, you know, we, uh, this is great. I'm not sure, you know, how many people I could sponsor. I say, you know what, you don't need to sponsor anybody. If you can ha give access to your program for three weeks or six weeks, come in and teach people how to use it. My goal right now is through this program is to create a program that's worth $1,500 where you get access to an IDX, a CRM, where you figure out how to use it, um, where you uh, can learn how to generate your own leads, a dialing system, um, uh, coaching. Uh, there's no reason why we can't help these students get completely tuned up and completely ready uh, so that when they hit the ground running, they're ready to go. I tell people, you know, if we were going to send you off to the Berkeley School of Music, we would want you to know a little bit about everything. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to place all of the different instruments into these students' hands so that they can learn how to dial, how to generate leads, what, it, what it's like to farm, what it's like to build a business plan, financial planning, all of the really um, exciting and boring stuff that it takes to make a really fantastic real estate agent. So, Zach, I appreciate you being on. Thank you. Um, we've shared this out uh, all over Facebook. I actually I plan on starting a watching party here shortly on uh, on Lab Code Agents at uh, at one o'clock is when we're gonna we're allowed to start that. And so I'm gonna be sharing this out to LCA wherever you're watching this. Please share it out because uh, if there's anybody that's out there that you think that might benefit from this program, share it out to your Facebook page. Share, send it out in a private message, whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that more people get access to this program, we would appreciate it. If you want to collaborate with us, um, whether you are an affiliate, whether you work with a different brokerage or you are in a different state, we started communication at this point with uh, real estate agents in six different states about bringing this program to their state. Um, this is catching wheels very quickly and I'm excited to talk to anybody who wants to talk with us about it. Uh, so please share this information out. I wanna say thank you again to my board of directors, my, uh, my excellent presenters. Um, of course, I was nervous at the beginning of this, but there's still a lot of really great information out there. Here are the helpful links. Check out our website at educateandpowerexplore.com. We've got a lot of really great, exciting things coming there. A new office space, uh, our Christmas lights display contest, some things that we're doing to work with uh, some local police departments and the community for a local toy drive, which we'll be uh, talking about later. Um, our Facebook page is Educate and Power Explore California. Uh, log on to calpaces.com or firsttuesday.us to learn about First Tuesday, the curriculum that we are using, the real estate school that we are partnering with uh, to make this possible. Of course, this is supplemental real estate education. If you wanna get licensed, we gotta get you set up with First Tuesday. And of course, feel free to email me at educateandpowerexplore at gmail.com. My phone number is, God bless you, Zach. My phone number is 951-691-7798. Um, and I, if you haven't been able to figure it out by watching, I am autistic, which means that I have a little bit of a difficulty keeping it short-winded and presenting sometimes. So uh, I also am not great with unexpected phone calls. So text me, let me know who the heck you are, and then let's set up a time that we can, uh, that we can chat. So I appreciate you tuning in. At this point, I'm going to stop the share from, uh, from Facebook and stop this recording. And I just want to say thank you so much for giving us your time today. Uh, it means a great deal to me that we were able to captivate your attention for, uh, for an hour. Have a great day, everyone. We look forward to uh, partnering with you at our community uh, at this real estate education platform. Bye, guys.